Hey guys, Nabil here. And wow, SNK did shatter my expectations. Big, big, big time. I remember in, you know, on the last episode of the Let's Draw with Neo Geo Now, I said, there is no way SNK is going to show two characters in this trailer. This is just a boxer and it's going to be Nelson and well, I I'm eating those words right now because yes, SNK has showed a, a trailer for two characters and it's none other than Rio and Robert. You know, remember I said my money was on Robert? Well, I lost that money because it's Rio and Robert and it's not Nelson. And anyway, it's expectations shattered to say the least. Now, obviously, I'm going to go in a frame by frame analysis of this of this trailer. And it it offers a lot of new stuff, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of questions, a lot of answers and a, a lot of awesomeness for sure so let's check it out and then we'll talk about it the invincible dragon the raging tiger Robert Garcia. expectations <laughs> all right what a trailer a lot of things to talk about guys a lot of things so i like this kind of like intro little thing you know having it in a um you know almost black and white but dude look at rio man he's been completely redesigned and the guy has been hitting the gym like crazy dude he looks to me when i look at this he reminds me of one of my favorite favorite uh, character poses and wins in a King of Fighters game and it's the King of Fighters 95. There was like everybody was so buffed in those win poses and I freaking loved it and this looks exactly like it and his hair looks awesome. This this is Rio. His hair has been redesigned. His face is completely redesigned. He's a handsome fella for sure and you know we're gonna look at some some other cool stuff here just in a second but the guy has been hitting the gym like crazy and which, which has been the theme of these returning characters so far. I mean, look at Andy, Terry, which kind of makes me think how big Rolf and Clark are going to look. I'm hoping they're not going to be like King of Fighters 13 style. Never like that. So let's see what happens when we get to when we get to those characters. But that is not the topic of this video, obviously. Look at that, man. The guys have some crazy, crazy shoulders there. I love this exaggerated look, really fits. Dude, my god, man, this guy is uh, the invincible dragon. And we're gonna look, I love the details of the of the belt, the, the fabric, the hair, of course. That looks awesome, dude. The invincible dragon. And of course, look at that man, dude. We're gonna we're gonna see some cool stuff in this trailer for sure. Oh, we're back in color mode here, and look at the texture of 
the clothing of you know uh this thing he has over here it completely different textures i love these details and i love the hair he looks awesome he looks awesome man wow look at that this is wallpaper material right there i love ryo sakazaki i've always been a fan of ryo sakazaki and and our fighting guys so this is this is awesome look look at look at the details here look at you know like it's worn out uh, part here of the of his kimono and it's just awesome dude look over here as well this is some really cool details he looks awesome dude he looks awesome all right Ryo Sakazaki and the voice actor from the previous game is back and that's Daiki Takakura looking really nice and my boy Robert I always have him in my team most of the time at least the raging tiger and he looks exactly well not exactly you know like I said he look exactly and then he did this look here look at me he's like are you sure about that well he looks much better I mean details wise than 14 he already looked great in 14 by the way so it's the same costume but his face has been uh, given uh, you know a bit of an update and of course the details on the clothing as well of course the hair physics obviously I'm not even gonna mention that because that's a given right now and he's also getting buffed yeah that's his head was what I was saying is uh, what I was saying is actually uh, Nelson's glove sorry dude Go Shinoyomiya is the voice actor as of the previous game as well. Roberto Garcia. Garcia. That's what he says in Japanese. Ora ora. So, looking fantastic. They're in the Pau Pau Cafe. And it's pretty awesome. And, you know, like, SNK really tricked us because they showed Yuri in this stage and they showed King in another stage. And it turned out that this is the Out of Fighting team stage. And. King is part of that team. King has not been with the auto fighting team since the King of Fighters 2000. All right, let's get started. There's a lot of just cut that out and then pose here. There we go. Rio looks nice. I know a lot of people are fans of his stance and uh, the. Uh, uh, you know, like the other stance that he had since 96, 97, 98. But I do prefer this one. I like the other one as well, but for some reason I always like this one because again, I love the King of Fighters 95. And to me, this looks closer to 95 in terms of, uh, um, of look. So let's check some of the moves. So this is Robert's back grab. Pretty normal from the previous game. Dude, Robert looks big too. Down B. Forward A, but it was blocked by down C from Rio. Rio's rushing in. Uh, this is the, the new block. Uh, the new block effect that we saw since the last two trailers, I believe. Which wasn't there. I hope they're gonna fix some other stuff that I'm gonna talk about later on. Down BB. Forward A. And what is happening in here? What is happening? This is a new mechanic. So this looks like CD, right? This looks like C plus D, right? But it's not that. It's something else. It's probably using those two buttons, but... Look, look what happened. It actually eats one hit at least. And boom. Now this this reminds me with a lot of reminds me of a lot of other mechanics similar to this, but let's 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 finish here. So it's it's a wall bounce here. 
and we'll see this other effect because the reason that there's a wall bounce is because it's actually airborne. So send them to the wall, jump, and then it goes into a level two super of Haoshokoken. Haoshokoken. I hate the effect of the projectiles. This is so messy and it's not nice at all. I hate that. I hate it so much. Uh, Ryo Sakazaki had a blue fireball effect in the previous game. Now, like, all of them have the same effect, and I don't like that. I hope this is just a placeholder. But this mechanic, this mechanic here is new. This is the first time we're seeing this, and it's very reminiscent. It looks, you know, like if you, pl if you play Street Fighter 4, if you play Street Fighter 4, this looks exactly like a focus attack, right? So it takes one hit, and then boom, it hits the opponent. It's almost unblockable. It looks like it. But there's also another mechanic in the King of Fighters. Uh, this is similar to a mechanic that was in the in the uh, short-lived and obscure King of Fighters Neo Wave. Uh, there's also something similar in 12, but I haven't played 12 a lot to tell you about it. So this is very intriguing. Not sure what are the requirements. Not sure if it eats meter. I have no idea. But this is now confirmation of a new mechanic we had no idea it existed in the King of Fighters 15, and it's uh, it looks like a CD move. And it eats, it's invincible. At least it can take one hit, at least. And if the opponent is airborne, it sends them into a wall bounce. We'll see another another instance of this attack when the opponent is actually on the ground, and you'll see it's different. Dude, look at how big Rio is. I love the hair. The hair is fantastic, fits Rio perfectly. Oh, this is this is a trade. I think it looks like uh, Robert was about to do a DP there, and Rio countered that with a down C, and there's a trade there. But uh, Rio still eats the DP, I guess. So uh, the standing C, B forward B. Rio's trying to do his uh, down uh, parry. So basically cancel something into that. So yeah, down C and almost immediately cancel that into the down parry. I was expecting like a dude, look at how handsome Rio is. Send in C forward C. I think that was sending send in A. And the uh, quarter circle back kick. This is an EX version, so it sends the opponent flying, which then can be followed by a lot of options. You went for Dragon Punch there. Ooh, that looks fantastic. This is this looks beautiful. I love the effect here, like this wind effect or dust effect, whatever you want to call it. Which is again, it's mind boggling that they have all these cool effects, but they really mess up on the projectiles effect. It really looks horrible, horrible. So messy, it looks like sauce flying from their hands. Oh wow, so it can't, after that it went into an EX DP. This game looks very interesting. It looks very interesting. Send in C, forward B, quarter circle back and kick. Okay. See, he is his flashing over here, so I think he just, you know, this is gonna be like a just defend thing. You see the. Uh, the kimono is moving here and, and the belt. Pretty cool details that I love about this game. Again, going with the just defend. Oh, this is this is a new move. This is a new move for, for Rio. I don't know what this is. I don't know what its properties, but it looks pretty cool. It looks cool. This is a new move. 
for Rio. Down B, down B. Forward A. It's an overhead. I love this move. Cancel that into a drop kick. Air drop kick, of course. Didn't follow with anything after that. And this is the Hawken. And it looks horrible. What is this? This is like tomato sauce or orange juice or something. It just not does not look nice at all. Look at that. They have the exact same one and it's just a smudgy mess. I hate that. Oh my god, this looks so bad. The game is amazing. These effect needs to be fixed. So obviously, going back to the game, so Leo's normal uh, uh, Hulk pin uh, actually stand, does not does not travel. It's 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 not a projectile per se. It doesn't travel, uh, unlike Robert, which it does. And it's the X version for Robert. And this is the, the surprise thing you're gonna see here in a second. Jump in C. Here we go. The EX version of his projectile actually travels. Which is a really cool thing that was not the case in 14 it only did have like a two hit instead of one but this actually travels kind of like roberts which is really cool really cool stuff a lot of variety here for for rio and it hits twice by the way travels is the first hit and the second hit it's a normal grab for for robert Jump in a D, stand in C, forward B, and E X hurricane kick, if you call it, want to call it that. This is a pretty cool combo for, for Robert that you can do right now in 14 if you want to train for it. And he's not done yet as he's coming down. A stand in C into his um, thousand kicks, whatever, I, I don't know what it's called exactly, which is forward back, forward kick. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. And finish that with a dragon punch. We'll jump into each other. Robert goes with the air CD here. And that's an instant wake up EXDP there now oh, this is this is the the, the mecha new mechanic thing so it is blockable right it is blockable it's a nice effect too yeah it is blockable this is not like a focus attack well focus attack you have to charge it I believe to, for it to be unblockable if I remember correctly and Robert's DP. Projectile, we've seen this. And see now he, he he gets hit by this you know new mechanic as he was standing, not not really airborne like before, because when it was airborne, it sends the opponents to the um, to a wall bounce. Now, he didn't hit until he was pretty much down, as you can see, and that is actually sends the opponent to like a... He's fall down on his knees, which then can, you know, he can basically start hitting, getting combos in the face. Exactly what happens here. Serio's grab. I mean, they're clearly using the, they took the models from 14 and redid them because the properties of the moves look similar, but the characters themselves, they look, they look much, much better. Again, with the, with the, with the thing. Is it? No, no, actually not. That's not the case. That was his um, move, new move. And Robert is actually in that 
um, new mechanic, so he it eats that hit and put Ryo on his knees again. This is a very interesting mechanic and combos from there. Forward B cancelled into so standing C forward B cancelled into a level two Rio Corambo. Bam 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 followed by that air jumping kick. I don't like the effects. I don't like these effects. Damn. Looking nice. And we have. Who's gonna have the biggest, strongest Haosho Koken? There we go. Well, we won't actually cancel each other, man. That looks good. Uh, the effect, not so much, but the idea of them doing it like this is pretty cool. But I hate that they have the exact same effect for the Haosho Koken, which was never the case. Well, it wasn't the case in the previous game. So now they have the same color, same smudgy orange juice effect that I am not a fan of. It looks very liquid, more than energy. And they're going into the climax, which unfortunately we don't get to see, but I think the reason that they don't show climax for these characters is because it's similar to the 14 one. Even though, well, Ryo startup looks similar, and look at look at the details, man. Look, you can feel these, you know, like these, um, uh, kanjis on on his on his uh, on his gi on his um, on his kimono man it looks well not kimono we don't say kimono no, it's a gi um, it's just you can you can feel the texture man I love that and you can feel this is silky smooth you know pretty cool details man pretty cool details but anyway it looks like uh, the startup for this super is the same as 14 this is the different startup but I guess if we haven't seen it yet is because it's similar to 14. So there you got the King of Fighters 15. And then at the end, of course, we got the confirmation that Rio and Robert are joining King and not Yuri this time, which is quite interesting. You know, I like these, you know, changes that make sense. This kind of makes sense, you know. And in the story, it says that Rio asked King to join them. So now the question is, who is Yuri teaming up with? Um, we already had Mai's trailer, so probably she's with Mai, who's the third character. We might find out next week, I think. Um, so yeah, that was the frame-by-frame -frame analysis. Let me know what you guys think from what you've seen today. Rio, Robert, the new mechanic. Let me know all that and more in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so, and I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort, and being able to get some support for these time-consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Yard, Fahad Aswadi, Heinz Green 3, SSBM Slick Tricks, Jacques Paul, and Ken Suenaga. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamiya, Refugio Robles, Felipe Gumara, Ji Hao Ju, Gil Sal, Muhammad Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, and Bernd Ritnas. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now Patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become Patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to Patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.